Well, the price of vanilla ice cream and other sweet treats could be going up because you see vanilla beans are in short supply in Madagascar and the price is more than tripled. CBS 13's Ron Jones is getting answers on how the vanilla bean shortage could possibly sour your sweet tooth. He's in Folsom tonight. If it's just vanilla, we were happy to decorate it with a little piece of vanilla bean. Karen Holmes, owner of Karen's Bakery and Cafe in Folsom, says vanilla is a common staple in a lot of her appetizing pastries and cakes. And we scrape them out, and then we use them to season buttercream. We use them to season sugar. This harvest is shipped all the way from the world's largest vanilla bean producer, Madagascar. They have an incredibly low yield right now, and so their beans are not coming. The small African coastal country's low yield is due to political and environmental challenges, meaning business owners in our area are paying higher wholesale prices. We have to do something because it, it isn't just a doubling of pricing, it's a doubling, a quadrupling of pricing. It's affecting Karen's bottom line. In January, we paid $80 a pound for beans. In February, we paid $120 a pound for beans. Without compromising quality, Karen is now making adjustments to the bakery's vanilla bean budget. We should expect it to go up as high as 2 to $250 a pound. For now, Karen says she's not passing the extra cost on to her customers, but she knows for many, the mouth-watering taste of vanilla is irresistible no matter the price. Vanilla is just one of those yummy, basic, clean, beautiful flavors. In its true, pure form, it's really something special. Well, Karen says the shortage affects ice cream makers even more. They require those larger quantities of beans. Wow. Mm. It is good tasting. Mm -hmm.